guys, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight I'm going to take you down into the Paris catacombs to learn about its ghostly history. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. I do have a part two video lined up to this one where I explore the forbidden, uncharted section of the catacombs. But for now, I'm going to take you down into the tourist section and tell you a bit about its dark history and ghost stories. All right, guys, we are just about to descend down into the Paris catacombs. Deep beneath the floors of Paris is a subterranean pit of death. Underground ossuaries piled with the skeletal remains of some six million dead people are connected by a sprawling tunnel system stretching miles beneath the ground. The origins of the Paris catacombs date back to the 17th century. At this time, Paris was a busy and forever growing city, and one that struggled with death. Many factors, including disease, led to Paris being inundated with bodies, and soon cemeteries began to overflow. To deal with this issue, mass amounts of human remains were exhumed from cemeteries all throughout Paris. These remains were then stored within ancient stone mining networks beneath the city. These bones sat unorganised for many years, until renovations in the early 1800s saw them arranged into elaborate designs. This small but ornately decorated section of the catacombs is accessible to tourists. Though there is a far more extensive tunnel system that spans outside the safety of this attraction. Majority of these tunnels are uncharted, forbidden to enter, and extremely dangerous. Some explorers who have entered have become lost, disoriented, and died within the dark depths of the Paris catacombs. The catacombs are often claimed to be one of the most haunted places in the world. Legend has it that the gates of hell are hidden somewhere within the Paris catacombs, so it is possible there are darker entities than just spirits lurking down there. In 2010, an explorer who made his way into the catacombs went missing. His final moments were documented on a video camera. The footage on this camera shows the man exploring, before becoming spooked by something. He then drops the camera and runs off into the darkness. The camera rolled until it ran out of battery and was later found by another explorer. Though the legitimacy of this footage is questioned, some believe this man may have turned insane and then crossed through the gates to hell. One of the best known ghosts of the catacombs is said to protect those referred to as cataphiles, explorers of the forbidden catacombs. This man was a doorman for a local hospital. He wandered into the catacombs one night for an entrance in the hospital, supposedly in the search of a secret liquor stash. After he became disoriented and the light from his candle died, the man also perished. His body discovered 11 years later and identified by the hospital keys he had on his person. His body remains entombed in the Paris catacombs along with his ghost, said to wander, whispering in people's ears and blowing out their candles. Many more spirits are thought to wander these underground tunnels, believed to be the restless souls moved from their initial place of rest. Additionally, many people claim that dark rituals have been conducted in the depths of the Paris catacombs. Would you dare visit this notorious haunted place? down here and this is actually within the uh, tourist section of the Paris catacombs which is quite a small distance compared to the 200 kilometers that they believe of these types of chambers that lie underneath Paris. We are just entering into the first section where there are chambers of bones and you can see stacks that go way back of bones piled up in order, all of the ends of the bones here, and it's all lined decoratively with skulls. 
And these are all real human bones. So this is really interesting to look at. You can see all of the skulls lined up and they're not all in great condition. Some are a lot better than others, but these ones you can see have been completely cracked open and you can see the thickness of the skull. Some of them you can even see where the skull plates have fused together. I've seen a few with a uh, full jaw, uh, but most of them are in this kind of condition where uh, they're quite deteriorated, cracked up. So there's actually a part that's uh, barred off here, but what's interesting is you can see that there's been a bit of a crumble and one of the walls, which is just stacked of human bones, has kind of given way. And they've all just kind of spilled out onto the floor down there. So as we walk through, we can see some different designs in the skulls. Some are in love hearts, some are in crosses, or they're just lined up. And you can see some are obviously missing as well. So parts of the catacombs are really dark. It's pretty well lit down here, but if those lights go out, it's pretty much pitch black. But I just wanted to show you there is water coming through. So it is starting to form little uh, stalactites, which is kind of cool. And it adds to the creepy damp feeling down here check out this one it's been completely covered in moss so this particular section is really cool because it's almost uh, looks like a freestanding pillar just coming around like a big kind of bulb and it's built right up to the ceiling there's lines of skulls bones and you can see more skulls in here going right up to the ceiling The ceiling is so low here, my head literally touches it just standing up straight. And if we look over here, there's just, you can just see how many bones are down here. They just stretch all the way back there and they lead to other chambers that are uncharted out there. So actually quite deep underground and this tunnel up here just kind of illustrates just how far down we are. It's a long way to the top. So what's a real shame is some people are so disrespectful that they've actually graffitied on skulls. I really hate seeing that. that I'm going to climb it to. And this is all kind of sealed off and so there is a lot 
more um, extensive area of the catacombs that this little tourist section doesn't uh, extend to or show and a lot of it is uncharted and there are explorers out there that go and uh, kind of take note and document the catacombs they're known as cataphiles and there's a lot of small tunnel sections or blocked off pieces and all sorts of awesome things out there. So I wonder what's beyond this. Down into the actual catacombs. The tunnel's getting smaller. <laughs> Pitch black in here as well. Are you okay? I'm gonna crawl on our stomachs over the top of the bones because that's how high they're stacked to the roof now. I'm about to crawl into a bone pit. How did you die? Oh, f it's scary down here. It's, it's just full, piled up with human bones. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and make sure to subscribe because I have a part two video in the forbidden section coming very soon. If you're after more reading on haunted locations, head to amyscrypt.com. Until next time.